Hi, boys and girls. It's time for art again. Miss McDonough here. I am so excited about this project. It has to do, yeah, with the holidays. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, I have been working on this and working on this, trying to break it down to a way that it wouldn't be... Um, that it would be more fun for you. Let's put it that way, okay? Um, so anyways, what we are going to do, we are working on our complementary colors, okay? Complementary colors, I know we've worked on them before, but you guys seem to forget them. So we like to repeat, you know, so that it helps to uh, keep it in your memory. Well, complementary colors are yellow and purple, red and green, which we see a lot right now, Christmas time, and blue and orange. Okay, so that being said, we are going to make some ornaments. We have also been working on foreground, middle ground, and background. So what I want you to do, and this is what I did. I'm going to show you what I did. I went in my cupboard and looked around, and I found a big can, right? It's a big can. And I found a medium can. It's a little bit smaller than this one. And then I found an even smaller can. Okay. So I have three different sizes is what I did. Three different sizes. Now, the reason I got cans is not because I'm going to eat. Okay. It's because I use these to make circles. Okay. Because you can find things in your house to trace shapes, right? So I use the cans to make circles. Okay, so this is what I started when I start just started. This is the big one. This is the middle one. And this is the smaller one. So I'm making them into ornaments. Now, I hate to limit you to circles. So if you want to do something else, that's perfectly fine. But what you're going to do is you're going to do your, a big one in the foreground, a, a middle one, a medium one in the middle ground, and a smaller one in the background. Now, to decorate them, I started this one, as you can see, with zigzag lines, okay? And whichever BFFs, complementary colors, or BFFs, you know how we call them best friends, okay? Best friend colors because... They make each other look good, right? Um, red brings out green. Green brings out red. Orange and blue like the gators, you know. Uh, purple and yellow. You see that a lot on, on royal things and stuff like that. Um, because they make each other look good, okay? they. I mean, it's not because they sit there and they go, Oh, I really like your wrapper. And this one says, Ooh, I think you're cute. Yeah. Well, no. It's because they make each other look really good. Okay, so we have, this is blue and orange. Um, but I did zigzag lines. So every other one on this one would be the opposite color, uh, you know, the complementary color. So if I decide to do my red and green on this one, I would do red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green. Now, you can do wavy lines, you could do curly lines. You could do diagonal lines. I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm going to do some right now to show you. Um, but the other thing that I was saying, if you don't want to do circles, if you could draw something else, as long as it's a good size, and you can do your complementary colors on it, only the complementary colors on the ornaments, okay? Okay. Um, and then in the background, we're going to put some things too. There's got to be some other things in the background, not just the, that one little ornament. Okay. So here we go. Let's get to it. So I have, um, zigzag lines here. So I'm just going to like continue those for this one. Okay. Now I could do like four zigzag at the top, four zigzag at the bottom, and then maybe in the middle, right, uh, Merry Christmas or something, or you know, happy holidays or whatever. Okay. So I could do that. Um, here's another one I have here. 
Now, when I was saying you could do lines, here's, let me see if I can pull this out more so that you can see better. Okay, so when I said about doing lines, you could do um, diagonal lines like this, right? And have stripes and do every one a different, you know, like if this one was gonna be the blue and orange one, then you would do a blue and orange. Or you could make it squares and do every other one that color like this. And um, this looks really awesome when it's done. Okay, so I did that one like that. And then this one, what can I do with this one? Oh, I know, I'll do some curly lines, but I'll do some upside down first, like this, okay. All right, so I'm doing my curly lines. Remember these curly lines, like loop-de-loop, -loop, right? This is actually a cursive E, you know. In cursive, it's an E. Okay, so I did that like that, okay? So now for our background, I'm not gonna color any of it yet. I'm, I hope that you can see this. I, I did it in as dark as I can. Um, so I'm going to make some branches. Just I'm just doing some kind of background. It doesn't have to be branches. You could put other things in it if you want to. You could put whatever you want to, um, but just make sure that I can see everything, you know, make sure it's not messy and stuff, you know, um, because I want to be able to see the, the ornaments real well and everything. So this is how I make my, um, my branches. And I'm just, again, zigzag lines, just about everything in art that you make is made with a type of a line. And that's why we, we go over all these lines. I know some of you guys are probably like, Oh, I'm so tired of that. But it's, it's, because every piece of art is some type of line. Now, if you want to do it like this too, you could do it like that, right? Just make it kind of sticking up like that. Um, and I'll put another one over here. I have complementary colors or BFFs. Um, if you want to write that, you can. You don't have to. You can just do some artwork, you know, do make your background statement there. Um, you could do uh, like bells if you wanted to or candy canes or something in the background. Um, I want you to, you know, I try to encourage you guys to be creative. Don't just always copy everything I do. I, I love seeing it when you guys get original and you start doing your own thing on some of them. As long as you're doing the basics, which is for this lesson, it is our foreground, middle ground, background, background, okay? And our complementary colors. So as long as you have that in there, if you want to, um, I would love for you to be take some creative liberties, okay? And do something. Um, I started doing some things and then I just decided that I would stick to the basics um, for you guys because uh, some of you don't have a lot of supplies and things like that, and I know that, and so I don't want anybody to feel bad because they don't have something. I started doing something like this and was gonna have you do every other um, square, but I decided I wanted to, to let you have a little bit of um, creativity and you know do some of your own stuff here. Um, oops, I lost one here. My son put some things down. Um, and here's another one that I did here that I was trying to do. Just there, there's different things you can do. Oh, and this is another one that I may actually finish up and cut out later, um, trying to, to do, but then I traced these. I did not draw these. So I have to be honest. I had these, um, foam kind of things that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree. Uh, so I had traced them and that's how I did that. So I just want to show you there's different options and I'm open uh, for you to be creative, but this is a basic thing right here that I did. Um, I want you to make sure that the most important, like I said, 
is to do the complementary colors. So like this one, if I'm gonna do in red and green, then this part will be red. I would color all that in in red. And I would then color in the other part in green. Um, this part above it would be in green, okay? So my red and green, and then I can go over here and let's say this one was going to be my blue and orange one. So I take my blue crayon here and every other, I like to usually trace it over first when it's little squares like that. Okay, so every other one I would do with blue, right? And then go back with my orange and do my orange, okay? Now, normally I would trace over these with marker first too, um, so you can see them better, but I'm hoping you can, you can see them pretty well. But I will get this completed, and then my last one would be my purple and yellow. So I could do this like this and just do this part all purple and just the purple in the little loops here. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna trace over the top just to right here. And um, here's, whoops, yeah, my yellow. That's what I wanted. Put my yellow up here, and then I would have this one in yellow. So you guys are, you know, in fourth and fifth grade, so I'm pretty sure you can figure the rest of this out. So it would be yellow, purple, yellow, okay? So this is what you're going to be doing. And don't forget, I do expect you to color in. Um, you know, if you do branches like this, you're gonna color them in, okay? And, um, and what's in your background? You know, maybe there's something in your background. Maybe there's, um, I don't know, just what's in your background. You might want to uh, get a completely different color, maybe a lighter color, maybe a lighter color green or something like this. And um, just do like the little circles or something all, or, all around it so you don't have to, you know, like go crazy trying to, when you do the circles, you can do it really fast. Okay. So anyways, I hope you have fun doing this. I, I've been playing with these for a while now, a few hours, <laughs> um, and just having fun with them. And so I really hope that you guys enjoy it too, that you have fun um, and get this done. Okay. It's not due till the end of next week, right? Next Friday. So um, I look forward to seeing them. I, I can't wait to see them. And you guys are amazing. You really are. And I'm so proud of you. I miss you all so much seeing you in person, you know. I really do because then I really get to tell you how amazing you are. Um, but I just can't wait to see what you do with this. I can't wait. Um, I may even put some glitter on some of mine. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, so... I want you to be creative, okay? But make it look neat because that's for your craftsmanship, right? Um, when it's neatly colored and everything is, is really neat looking and you, you don't scribble scrabble and stuff. Like I said, on this, on the background here, if you do the loops and you leave some white space, that's okay. That's okay on, on a background like that, okay? Um, but I'm just looking forward to see what you do and your creativity. So I'm just gonna say, Guys, be safe. Know that you are amazing. Know that you are loved. And I will be seeing you soon. 
okay? Bye for now.